I love, love, love traveling in Thailand because it's rare that you will hear bagpipes being played in Thailand. I've actually never been to Thailand. I know people who've been to Thailand. I'll, I'll, I'll give you three. One, friend of mine who's entirely non-spiritual, not even atheist. She just doesn't have any time for any of it. Two weeks in Thailand on a silent retreat in a monastery, but she's not spiritual. I think that's an interesting story. She loved it, but still isn't spiritual. Two, someone who would go to the airport and do little one or two or three day trips to other parts of Thailand that weren't Bangkok. She would just show up with a friend, with someone you know who she had met while traveling, whoever, they would look at the board and see where destinations, you know, like what destinations were coming up in the next few hours and say, okay, let's go there. That's kind of a fun way to live. I know someone else who does this every time she travels. Her fantasy is she just goes to the airport and gets on a plane. I call that a nightmare. It's the kind of dream that's called a nightmare, not the kind of dream that's called I want to do that. And I also know someone who was in Thailand, who I, I don't really know her that well, but I took over her apartment in San Francisco for the two and a half weeks, three weeks she was in Thailand. And I got to hear briefly about her trip. She was very nice, very nice. I've already critiqued that phrasing, but she was very nice. Lived near Mission Dolores Park in a giant pink and blue house, pink and blue Victorian, right there between the Mission and the Castro. And I was on the Balboa train and there was a coffee shop a couple blocks from the house that had a terminal and a keyboard and internet access. This was at the beginning of this millennium. And it would show the schedule of the train so you would know how many minutes you had until the next train. That's the kind of control I like to have. Don't send me to the airport not knowing where I'm going. Don't send me somewhere where I'm going to be on a two-week silent retreat with someone who says they're not spiritual, and certainly don't send me anywhere where they're playing bagpipes. Thank you. <laughs>